Hi, my name is Jeff Haroff. I'm a member of the 1st Regiment of Volunteers, which is a uh, re living history group where we create uh, soldier and civilians during the War of 1812 period, so that'd be the early 19th century. And this weekend we're here at the battlefield representing what the Kentucky soldiers under General Winchester would have done and how they would have lived in the field on December 17, 1812. Um, it was a pretty hard time for them. They had left Kentucky in August, um, actually go up and support the Detroit campaign. By that time, the Detroit had surrendered. So they ended up marching to Fort Wayne, Indiana. From there, they started marching up the Mahogany River. Um, they had a pretty hard time because they had left in their summer clothing, and by the time November rolled around, their clothing had pretty much fallen apart and been in tatters, uh, short on food and supplies and stuff like that. So uh, we're representing not so much what they would look like here at the battlefield because they weren't here at the battlefield in December. They didn't arrive until January 18th, 12, uh, January 18th 1813. So uh, we have. Mr. Ken Olson here and Mr. Roberts, the representing 1st Regiment. Uh, the, some of the uniforms, are, some of the soldiers were in nice uniforms, such as these. They were volunteers, so they spent a little bit more money as volunteers on their uniforms, uh, mimicking at the time what was common to the American forces, what they were wearing. So they had the blue field with the red cuffs, capes, and collars. Uh, they wear the common hat with a white plume. Uh, Mr. Ron, uh, Mr. Olson there is a sergeant. He's got the white epilepsy on his shoulders. Can you give me a tour of the, the tent? Uh, sure. Uh, if you want to come over to this tent. Okay. This is a common wedge tent that the uh, soldiers would have worn, used. Okay. Uh, inside, there would have been four to six men sleeping. They didn't have bunks or cots or anything. Uh, if there had been snow on the ground, they would have scraped away the snow, and they would have gotten leaves and small branches. If there was any hemlock or uh, tamarack branches or uh, pine, they would have laid those down to get themselves up off the ground. Uh, we say four to six because oftentimes their men would have been on detail, so you might have only had four guys, and they would have laid not facing head to tail like this, but stacked up like that. Thank you.